Hello everyone, this is Terence Kalawungay, the Quality Management Officer in which I am tasked to look into different instructional materials as their quality before releasing them for use. Due to the high number of teachers who do not know how to use different digital and non-digital resources in their teaching, the department asked me to make a promotional video of different resources that can be used by teachers in the teaching learning process. So, as I observe, instead of computers, I would choose laptops to be used in teaching learning process. So, why laptop? I have here a video or a short video for you to watch why I choose laptop instead of computer. Let's watch it. If you're thinking of buying a computer, you may have wondered, is a laptop right for me? Depending on how you plan to use it, the answer may be yes. In this video, we'll look at some of the ways that a laptop is different from a desktop to help you decide. The biggest difference is portability. Laptops have to be small and light so that you can pick them up and take them with you. Since all of the basic parts are built in, setting up a laptop is as easy as opening it. The downside is that the monitor is usually smaller than a desktop monitor, so you'll have less screen space. Another important difference is that laptops use a battery. The battery can provide power to the laptop when you're on the go, and it will recharge whenever it's plugged in. An added benefit of having a battery is if the power goes out, the battery can work as a backup power source. Instead of a mouse, laptops usually have a built-in touchpad, also known as a trackpad. You can control the pointer on the screen by using a drawing motion with your finger. If you haven't used a touchpad before, the experience is a little bit different from using a mouse, and it may take a while to get used to. If you're buying a desktop computer, you can mix and match almost any monitor, keyboard, and mouse that you want. With a laptop, you won't have quite as much freedom since everything is built in. However, if you want to have the best of both worlds, you can use your laptop's ports to connect a separate monitor, keyboard, and mouse, basically turning your laptop into a desktop. And of course, whenever you want to, you can simply disconnect everything and take your laptop with you. As you can see, there are some important differences between laptops and desktops, so depending on your preferences, you can decide which one best suits your needs. So, laptops can facilitate the work of both teachers and students. They increase the interaction among the students, the teachers, and the parents. The students can obtain high-quality information. They can develop their autonomy, they will have greater attentiveness. They will get individualized learning. First one is mobility. The first and the main advantage of a laptop in the comparison with a stationary computer it is its mobility. The lightweight, the compact size, the built-in battery in, in the laptop allow it to easily move from one place to another. Many models can be worn at all times, used in park, cafe, carted car. Thanks for this mobility, you can quickly access the necessary data wherever you are. The second is the internet access. Internet access is the second advantage for the rise in demand for laptop because it provides the ability to access the internet through wireless technology, Wi-Fi. However, this possibility can be a stationary computer, but you can only connect to the network at home. The laptop can be taken with you to any cafe, restaurant, park, or other public places where there is Wi-Fi coverage and the connection to the internet. Moreover, some laptops allow you to install SIM cards for access to mobile internet, 3G, or keyboard. Third one is offline operation. The laptop is also convenient to use for all kinds of presentations. In this case, you do not depend on the technical equipment of the venue. Even the connection to the mains is not necessary since the laptop can work offline from its battery with a proper use. True, the batteries have their lifespan. They are not eternal. The laptop is first, sensitivity. The laptop is easier to damage as compared to the ordinary computers. For example, 
It is not uncommon for a laptop to drop, fall with rain, sit on it, etc. All this leads a breakdown of the device and the repair of portable computers is much more expensive than an ordinary computer. The second one is unpredictable battery. Often, the battery pack built into the laptop breaks down because it is not eternal and it needs to be operated according to the strict rules. In addition, many users have a habit of operating a laptop in exactly the same way as a stationary PC by enacting with power while using that is the foremost reason for damaging the battery. third one is reinstalling the innate operating system. A very important point is that laptops really do not like reinstalling the operating system. The native system that comes with the laptop works with it in the best possible way. However, it is necessary to switch to another operating system, problems with function keys with device, drivers, or laptop, etc. can begin. We found that laptops change classroom circumstances, making it easier for teachers to engage students in substantive, collaborative, project-based work. Laptop also made the planning and group communication easier for teachers we observe. Teachers can become more able to engage students in inquiry-oriented, project-based learning. When schools provide laptops for every student to create this one-to-one -one computing environment, they allow students and their teachers to take full advantage of benefits of internet and technology. Today, a laptop is important school supply for any college student. It gives students the flexibility and freedom they need to work and academic assignments anytime, anywhere. The laptop can help students stay organized and remember the schoolwork. The students can easily review their work in all places. They can edit, change, and copy their work. They can also send their work via email. The students can learn writing skills, creativity, communication, cooperation by using technology learning, so it improves their student skills and competencies.